please? I have... I literally followed this girl yesterday on TikTok, had no idea who she was, and now she's popping up in my YouTube recommendations like Mira and just put it all over my face. For those that don't know or are new here, hello! My name is Cassandra Bankson. I'm an expert and have been in the industry for over 10 years, and I've personally suffered with acne for 15. And it was like 102 degrees today, so the sweat is not helping the breakout situation. I'm a medical esthetician, and although I've worked alongside and with doctors and dermatologists, I am not a physician myself. That being said, I love analyzing, scrutinizing, and learning from different people's skincare routines. And I literally just met this girl via the internet yesterday, and today we're gonna learn what's going on with her skin. What's up, it's me. Madison Ray, back with another video. Yeah, let's go. Here we go. Please help. So first off, I'm gonna take my makeup off. I usually use okay. like the Neutrogena face wipes, no. but I don't have any right now. I just ran out. Once oh, I run out, it usually God. takes a while to get more. Don't get more. Just don't. Because I just forget. So I usually steal my mom's, but I'm not gonna go right now because I just don't feel like going upstairs. Actually, mom, can you get me a, a makeup wipe or a dad? All right, so now that I got my makeup wipe, I'm gonna oh, take my makeup off yuck, and then yuck, we can go yuck, along yuck, from there. Makeup wipes are not your best friend. There is one circumstance in which makeup wipes should be used. It is only for if you've worked so hard, played so hard, and gotten home so late that you're either gonna fall asleep in your makeup or do nothing, use a wipe. But really, all these do is rub cosmetics around your face and remove the physical grit. Stuff is still stuck in your pores. And especially these Neutrogena makeup wipes, I know because in the past, young, acne-ridden, teenage me, not knowing better, used them. And these really do leave a film on the face. On top of that, all of the environmental waste that is created by these makeup wipes, not fun. Please use a cleanser. All right, so now I'm gonna go straight in my next step, which is this clarifying wash. It's Sonia Dakar. Good. And I really like it. I am so happy. Also, look at her skin. Just a little fun observation. We see some redness and flushing around this area. That could be from rubbing a little bit vigorously with those wipes. I kind of saw her going at it, which let's be honest, we're all guilty of. But the other thing is that she might have erythema. Erythema is a totally natural condition, but it's where the skin gets red or flushed even after touching it. But even with the atrocity that is these makeup wipes, her skin is glowing. So there must be something later on that's good here. All right, so my face is soaking wet. I'm gonna try it off, obviously. Look at that, Pat Not Swipe. Love it. A note on the cleanser she's using as well, it's technically a silver clarifying face wash, so it's made for acne prone skin, but I always tell you, the front is marketing and lies. You need to turn and learn your ingredients because that's the true story of what's in those. And when we do that, we do see that it has silver. Silver is actually antimicrobial and slightly antibacterial, fantastic. We do have some good ingredients here, such as biotin, panthenol, and niacinamide. All of these are B vitamins, super hydrating to the skin, as well as glycerin. We also have salicylic acid in here, which is an acne-fighting ingredient. The only thing to mention is that this does have some plant extracts and some fragrance slash perfume. And for those who are sensitive to it, this can cause irritation or redness. I know that there's also some fragrances inside of those um, Neutrogena makeup removers, so I wonder if the redness is an erythema condition that she has, or maybe she is is one of those people who is sensitive to fragrance and perfume in her products. Okay, so now that my skin is dried off, I'm gonna move on to the next step, which is a face mask. So usually I take this face mask and I leave it on for seven to 10 minutes. Which one? Normally I do eight. Yeah, let's do it. Ah, show me which one it is. Okay, time to zoom in super close. This face mask and I leave it on. Oh, Sonia Dakar, perfect. Okay, girl, yes. Just put it all over my face. <gasps> she does have some blemishes. I'm gonna try to put it evenly, um, I'm not always the best. All right, so now I'm gonna start my timer and leave it on for eight minutes. So the one she's using looks like it is the Omega Overnight Sculpting Mask. It says that it's an intense mask to fight the signs of aging and to hydrate and sculpt the skin. She's 19! Her skin is so smooth and firm. She doesn't need this. It's expensive. It's $95. 
Uh, and again, when we look at the ingredients, they're good, but they're not worth $95. We have flaxseed oil, we have one of my favorite oils, jojoba oil, and actually a lot of amino acids and peptides, tripeptide 7. Remember that proteins provide the structure of our skin, and they keep it flexible and stretchy and bouncy, specifically elastin and then collagen. But proteins are made up of little tiny things called amino acids. Of course, you have to get those in your food, but this mask is putting them inside of their formula. Those amino acids are lined up very strategically by your body into little chains called peptides, which we also have peptides in here, and then those peptide chains are really turned into proteins that again support our bodies and skin. This does look like a good mask from an ingredient perspective, but you can find other masks and creams from The Ordinary, The Inky List, even Biosans that have a lot of these similar ingredients um, at a fraction of the price. Mm. Such a pretty color. Her personality reminds me of a rose gold iPhone. Does that even make sense? Is that an accurate way to describe someone's personality? I've literally only known of her existence for 24 hours, but I feel that she is a rose gold iPhone. We're going with it. All right, so now that my face mask is off, I'm gonna brush my teeth and- Brush your teeth. Everyone always asks me how I get my teeth okay. so white. Um, I brush them. Oh, there's an ad. You know what? I appreciate that she's making content for me for free on the internet. We're gonna watch that ad. My dear Addison, you are welcome for that one tenth of a cent. <laughs> and now I'm going to use this blemish buster and put it on my acne, which right now is everywhere. But. Hey, so need a car! Say, oh my god, so it. I use this one as well. It has sulfur in it, and it's actually fantastic for acne-prone skin. You see, there are different types of breakouts and different types of acne. What I dealt with for 15 years was cystic acne, hormonal cystic acne. A lot of those are your cysts, nodules, and traditional whiteheads, but then you also have blackheads. This product has some really good ingredients in it, especially for people who've kind of exhausted all their options. Whether you go to the Sephora counter and ask for advice, or you go to a regular esthetician, or you come to the dermatologist's office to talk to myself or a doctor, some of the first ingredients that are used are things like salicylic acid and benzyl peroxide. These have been proved by medical studies time and time again to be effective for acne. But for some people, their skin just doesn't respond to them well. Or they're hard to use because benzyl peroxide like stains your pillow sheets and your hair, freaking everything. This formula is really unique because it has sulfur. Sulfur is an amazing acne fighting ingredient and it works on multiple different types or multiple presentations of acne. And for those who have really exhausted the benzoyl peroxide and the salicylic acid, sulfur is a really good next step. On top of that, this formula has kaolin. Kaolin is a type of clay. And especially if you have oily prone skin, sometimes the over oiliness is what's feeding the bacteria, which is what's causing the acne. So this kaolin goes in, kind of soaks up the oil, kind of like a little sponge, and so it degreases your face as well as helping with the acne from the oiliness perspective. Hey, what did I say? We're working on it. It's always a work in progress, right? We've also got camphor, we've got menthol, we've got colloidal silver. Again, all of these can be antibacterial. And remember, all acne is caused by a bacteria named Cutibacterium acnes. And so if we use antibacterial things to kill the bacteria or to make sure there's less of it in our skin, we don't break out as much anymore. Also, menthol is very, very powerful. It's actually really good in a spot treatment. Your skin actually has receptors for certain things. Basically think menthol and your skin can kind of hold hands, lock in together, and it can cause changes in your skin. So especially in a spot treatment, this is a really, really good option. I think I still have it in my bathroom. I should go put it on this one. And, hmm, tastes like cherries. Oh, wait, I actually just licked that. Okay, so I'm I mean, done with that. We eat chapstick anyways, so. Now I'm officially done with my skincare. Yeah! Wait. Skincare routine and kind of getting a little feel for, I guess, my nighttime-ish routine. Wait, is this, so, like, is this I'm ending? Like, what am I saying? I cannot speak. Normally, I wash my hair in the morning, so it's more of like a morning routine type thing. Let me know if you guys would like to see that, and I can do like a hair care slash morning What is going on here? ...type of video, and um, kind of just bring you guys through my day. So, a big thumbs up. Comment what kind of video Wait, this isn't happening. She has acne-prone skin, and she's not applying a serum or a moisturizer? A night mask? Anything? Oh my god. So, uh, this could be contributing to her breakouts. 
I really wish she would explain why she's not using a moisturizer, but if I flash back to younger acne-ridden me, I thought, oh, my skin is so oily and breaking out, I should avoid anything with oils and I shouldn't moisturize because my skin is already so greasy. That's not actually how it works. <laughs> you see, yes, oil is a component of acne, but if you don't have enough oil in your skin or if you don't have enough moisture, two things can happen. One, you can get super dry and have dry skin and acne, or number two, your skin can start to overproduce oil basically trying to compensate and just pump out more and more and more because it's so dehydrated. The cleanser that she's using is pretty intense. Then she used a face mask, which can kind of be thought as of like a double cleanse. And although they're great products ingredient-wise, she's using water to wash them off her face, and that's really drying to the skin. Now she's putting on, again, it's a good spot treatment, but it's a super drying one. There's no moisture going back into the skin. So what's probably happening at night is that she's going to sleep. Her skin is saying, guys, it is the literal Sahara Desert out here. We gotta start pumping out some oil. Rehydrate this place. And so then when she wakes up in the morning, her skin is oily. Maybe she's washing it again. Again, drying it out more. And it's so stripped from potentially over cleansing that it's just pumping out this oil nonstop. And then the acne bacteria that's living in her skin and chilling without paying rent is basically eating that oil, making its little bacterial waste products, think of them as farts and poops, causing a whole bunch of inflammation in the skin. It's happening under the skin. It can't escape because there's a plug, so it's getting stuck, and she's having breakouts. And again, she looks fine. She's beautiful. She doesn't need to worry about her skin, but if it's something she's bothered by and if she's already trying to treat it with some of these products, Use a moisturizer, help your skin regulate properly. When you give it that moisture, it doesn't have to create as much of it on its own. And for myself personally, figuring this out was monumental for me. And there are moisturizers formulated for acne prone skin that again, have salicylic acid or sulfur or even glycolic acid. Those can help so much and go so far for breakout prone skin. And that education, learning about my skin has changed my life and hopefully yours because I try to share my experience both personal and clinical with you so that we can all better understand the science of skincare and cosmetic chemistry and give our skin the treatment it deserves because skincare is self-care. I'm just... I'm gonna need a follow-up to this video. <laughs> can somebody please tell this beautiful human being to moisturize? I think it will help her a lot. Maybe I'll go yell nice things at her on TikTok. If you learned a little something from this video, make sure that you that like button, and don't forget to push that subscribe button if you haven't already. More reaction videos and acne help can be found right here, and I cannot wait to see you in the next video. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye.